I got a DM the other day saying I needed to make some more videos, so I uh, took that into account, and we're back with another video. So, uh, well, I just started without you guys, but today we're going to be making some Nickelodeon Air Forces, um, like based on that very like 90s, early 2000s theme that Nickelodeon had with like the neon green, the neon orange. So here I just got a little... Um, Got a little something from Google here, just some like glossy kind of vault green uh, Air Forces. And the first thing we're going to want to do is darken it a little bit, um, just so we can use the magic eraser to clear the background. And then we're going to lighten it back up. Um, and the reason I went with the glossy ones is to give it kind of like that slimy look, because I'm going to like put some slime on the, uh, the swoosh there. So first we're going to want to change this color to orange because um, I want it to have that Nickelodeon theme. So we can just get the quick select, selected upper, or if you want, use the uh, polygon and go through. But since it's a pretty sharp line, I just use the quick select. Um, and then we're just going to press Control u bring up this hue saturation thing, and... Uh, that way we can change the color of it. I'm just going to press colorize. Oh man, we're getting a grainy look here. Alright, so for some reason there's this kind of grainy look to it. I think it's just because of the gloss. So I'm going to use the lightning tool as well. Just to try to get rid of that a little. Alright, so now we have the right color up here. Um, I'm going to go with the blur tool really quick just to get rid of some of this weird blockiness. I'm not sure why that's there exactly, but it's not looking too good. So I'm just going to blur it a little. Got some Wiz Khalifa on now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Turn it up. Alright, so now we're going to bring in some logos. So... I got this little folder of just the stuff that I'm going to use. It's a pretty simple concept. Like you can see for the Bape Army one, I got a lot more stuff because I'm going to need it. But for this, just need a few things. Um, grabbing the logo first. Or actually, I'm going to start with the, uh, the slime here. So you can just drag that in. And then you're going to want to right click and rasterize it because it was a smart object. So you can't really edit those. Um, now you're going to want to get the magic eraser again. And just clear out this black. Um, you can just click it and it will clear out. And what we're going to do with this is bring it down to about the size of this. I'm actually going to flip it horizontally. Um, then just line it up. We're going to right click and use the warp tool to line it up. Got fortune fuck the thing. Alright. So now that we got that kind of lined up, actually I need this a little lower. Alright. Gonna warp this to the way I want it. Taylor Gang, we bees with it. Alright. Now that we got that drip looking good. Actually, I like how it's tilted a little. It gives a little bit of like a angular uh, thing with this and like with the swoosh. And now we're gonna go in and use this uh, polygonal lasso tool to outline the swoosh here. And you're going to want to go carefully with it. Um, this is the tool that I like to use because it gives the sharpest edges. With the quick select sometimes you see like some fuzziness around the edges. And that's a mistake that I see a lot of uh, people that are new to Photoshop making is they don't want to put in the time for this so they go for the quick select. But it really just pays off to do that. It doesn't take too long. Alright, so now I'm going to hop back on the uh, layer of the shoe and press Command-J 
just so it'll uh, duplicate that part I just selected, as you can see. Um, and we're going to go back with the command U and change it to this slimy green here. And if you want to even turn up the glossiness a little more, we can go brightness contrast and turn up the contrast a little. Alright. Now I'm bringing back in this uh, thing. I had it on hidden. We're going to grab the color of the swoosh here. And we're going to paint this. Um, and I'm actually going to go in with an eraser, make the opacity really low. Uh, the way you can get up this thing, a lot of people ask me about this, is just by pressing Alt, right click on your mouse, and then you can kind of use your mouse to uh, drag it around to get the right properties you want, which is much faster than going up here. So I'm just going to use this to fade it a little bit. Right. I've been getting money since I learned how to walk through. Alright, and now we're going to select all of that with the quick select. And I'm going to go in on here, press Command J again. So now we've uh, duplicated this part, which is where we want the slime. And I'm going to take away all the saturation from it. I'm actually going to put it above here. And then we can go with this, press overlay. Hmm, I can't tell if I like the way it looks. So we can either do that with the overlay tool, or if we want, we can just put this over and colorize it, which might look better. I like the way that looks actually. I've been gaming money since I learned how to walk. Alright, I'm gonna hop on Google and grab actually, see if there's like an embroidered Nickelodeon logo. See if there's a patch. Not seeing anything, so we can make our own. It's just gonna be kind of a drag. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna pop this logo in here real quick, and same thing. Grip the magic magic eraser, delete that background. And this is something that took me a long time to learn, so I'm gonna give you guys the quick summary of it. But I'm gonna make a quick patch out of this, or like an embroidered logo, to put um, right here. So what I'm going to do is grab this selection, because I'm going to grab the text, press select, color range. This is also a really nice tool to have. Uh, and then you can just hit the color that you want, which is that. So then once I have that, copy it, paste it onto a new layer. And now we can get a little bevel and emboss on the layer style. And you just want a little bit of shading here. Just to give it that embroidered look. And then I like to put a texture on it as well. Um, scale it way down. That's probably good. So that just gives it like a threaded look. And then we're going to do the same thing on this background. Actually, what I'm going to do is delete what I have here on this background. So then it's just this orange part. We're going to do the same thing. Double click here. Bevel and emboss. Perfect. Texture. And that, that's a little too small for this, so scale it up a little. Eat to put in 12 alligators that put a shit up, put up. 
Alright. Now we got this little patch here, as you can see. We're going to merge those layers. And scale it way down here. Um, it's, I actually might want to try it in green here. Living life without no limitation. Alright. Yeah, it's fucking hard right there. Turn that motherfucker to a spaceship. Alright, and now we're gonna go back into the layer style and add a little drop shadow. Just so it looks... A little more like it's actually on the shoe. And you can mess with these settings for whatever case you have, but... Alright, so yeah, I guess that's uh, the tutorial for today. I went over some color grading, um, some texture application, and how to make a little patch. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I'm going to be back with some more soon. Thank you.